that bag. <gasps> oh, sh Is going on guys it has been a hot minute since I did a voiceover over a workout so I wanted to kind of talk about this before I get into just letting it play through um, this was a very high volume day and I did record a lot of stuff because my friend Ronnie who he's certified in a ton of different things he's really knowledgeable when it comes to training he wanted to work with me a little bit on like snatch accessory which you guys will see and some heavy back squats so um, I'm gonna alternate between playing the footage and talking over the footage so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this portion play and then I'll come back when I'm gonna explain the snatch accessory are seeing here is actually like a lat and shoulder activation drill we used a war bar which I don't know if you can tell from the footage but it does bend slightly so what he was doing was kind of just putting me in the proper receiving position and having me try to bend the bar with my hands um, and we would do this in each position so here you see um, the starting position and then we came from above the knee and in each position I was attempting to bend the bar and just really focusing on like activating my lats and my shoulders. I have a tendency a lot of times in the snatch to not be as tight when I'm receiving the weight overhead and it causes me to miss a lot of the weights behind me. So in this one, again, it was just kind of like a resistance drill where I would attempt to pull against him while he pulled me up with the bar and just kind of keep my lats really, really tight, my shoulders engaged the entire time. Actually. I didn't have any cardio or metcons to do tonight just because the open is this week. 
The open is this week. Is anybody freaking out? And the open is not this week for me. <laughs> for those of you that follow me on other forms of social media, you know that I got a gnarly stomach bug um, the other day. Actually, after I recorded that last clip and I was so sick and you know that I have a phobia of vomiting, <sighs> I'm literally scarred for life. Every single thing I ate that day, I will never be able to eat again because I threw it up. Ugh, I can't. Anyways, today is a new day. I finally have some of my appetite back. I literally ate nothing. Literally nothing the day after I got sick. So I'm starting to like eat more. I'm about to eat this little open face sandwich with P28 bread and this peanut butter spread. Let me show you guys. I found it at Publix Greenwise and it is a peanut spread with these macros. Check it out. Pretty decent and it actually tastes like peanut butter. It's like creamy. The only reason why I don't like those powdered peanut butters is just because they taste like grainy and not creamy the way that normal peanut butter does. So I'm gonna have that for lunch. I'm gonna head out, do some errands, bring you guys with me for the remainder of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you in the next clip. I've been putting these Power Crunch bars in the freezer lately. Which which is your favorite? Um, I like the salty caramel. Cookies and cream too, actually. The mint one I put in the freezer and it tasted like a Girl Scout cookie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's I like the back that you did. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, the lemon, my fave. Yeah, that one's good. Too. Whoa. Um, I was gonna say, I don't see snickerdoodle, yeah. We'll just get, I don't like the double chocolate anyway, we'll just get two for now. Digestive enzymes. Oh, you grab one already or the bomb? Yeah, so what's the benefit of this? This is the other digestive enzyme thing I was taking, but I don't know if it's really an enzyme, it's is it? For your nervous system. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, we know I need that. Calm my ass down. <laughs> protein bars. I'm gonna head over to Whole Foods. It's kind of out of my way, but I really want to get the Halo Top flavors that I like because I don't have them at the Publix that's by my house. I should probably fix my seatbelt. Sorry, Mom. What are you doing, dude? Whoa. Bye. Let's go. kitchen because when I got sick I feel like it's could have been from something that I ate so I'm just gonna like throw out everything in the fridge but before I do that I'm gonna just give you a rundown of everything that I got at Whole Foods you guys pretty much saw what was from next level so I picked up some brown eggs medium brown eggs for smoothies if I can get over my fear of eating smoothies <laughs> again. I got sliced peaches and dark sweet cherry. Those are my favorites to put in smoothies. These you can only get at Whole Foods. They're like the purple, orange, and regular sweet potato mix. I got some egg whites. Super excited about this because I did get some mochi. Okay, I haven't ever tried the green tea one, so I kind of want to just give it a try. Whoa. That is really mochi. All right, not really a fan. Do the vanilla. He literally can't go wrong with mochi vanilla. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I got some crab cakes for dinner tonight, and then I got some fresh thyme because they always use thyme on chopped, and I've never actually tried it. So I might roast my chicken in that. I heard it's good to roast chicken with thyme, so who knows? We'll try it. I got some baby bella mushrooms. I got Pita bread. I just got some fresh fruit. I got fresh raspberries and strawberries 
and blueberries. I swear that Whole Foods fruit is just like so much better than regular. I don't know why. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Some kiwis because I believe they're in season now. They look really big and good and I'm super excited because I love kiwis. I don't eat them too often. I got some freshly ground bison patties. Their bison at Whole Foods is so good. And then this is for Jeff. It's a cowboy burger. And then I just picked up some air chilled, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Hormone free, whatever, fancy, overpriced Whole Foods chicken. The reason I went to Whole Foods in the first place is for the Halo Top ice cream because they don't have these at Publix. So uh, I can't decide between these two so far. These are my favorites, the chocolate chip cookie dough and the peanut butter cup. They did also have black cherry and they had oatmeal cookie, which I've never tried. And everyone says that one's really good. <laughs> this is where my $150 one right here. Please don't fall. That oh, so that's everything that is my little whole foods haul and now i know you guys are super excited for the protein bar little review so i'm gonna put this away and then we will get right to that okay so um to conclude this vlog today i wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite protein bars and i am not kidding when i tell you that i have kind of a bit of an issue with buying and trying protein. oh shit trying protein bars. And as a reference, I am extremely, extremely picky when it comes to protein bars. I think that Quest bars are nasty. So if you have a palate that enjoys Quest bars, you may not agree with these uh, choices. So I'm just gonna kind of break them up into different macro groups, just so that it makes it easier for you guys, because some people may have lower carbs than others. They may not be able to eat a full Anise and Larry's cookie, and then other people may need more carbs, so whatever. We're just gonna go through different ones. So the very first one that I wanted to talk about is actually not a bar. They are from Optimum Nutrition. They are Cake Bites. I would say out of all of these, these have the most well-rounded macros. When I say that, I mean that equal parts protein to carb with not so much fat. These Cake Bites, you have 20 grams of protein for three little bites and then 25 grams of carbs with only seven grams of fat. The cool thing about these is you can only have one if you need a little bit of protein with some carbs, like a pre-workout snack. Um, and they don't have that like sugar alcohol taste even though there is sugar alcohol in these. So it's three grams of sugar alcohol. Leave them in the fridge so they have like a softer taste. I just like cold protein bars, I don't know. I think that these would be my number one choice for equal protein carbs to fat. Next up, number two on the list is Fit Joy Bars in Cinnamon Roll, and these have similar macros to the Cake Bites. 20 grams of protein, 23 carb, and eight fat. It is iced, and it kind of reminds me of um, a Luna Bar. So if you like the taste and texture of Luna Bars, you might like this. I've tried a ton of the flavors, and the other ones are pretty sugar alcohol -y, in my opinion, and this Frosted Cinnamon Roll is the least. So this is my number one choice of flavor second bar. Number three on the list of equal macros would be the Think Thin Protein Bars. Now these do have a bit more fiber in them, so just be cautious of that because I wouldn't eat this before working out, if you know what I'm saying. You're gonna have 20 grams of protein, 23 carb, and nine grams of fat. So just a little bit more fat than the last two that I mentioned, but overall great tasting, more of a soft protein bar. It is very dense though, so these ones keep me full for a long time. This is the Power Crunch Crisp Bar and it is the salted caramel flavor. This one has a little bit less protein, 14 grams of protein, 16 carb, and five fats. So the reason why I felt it was a little bit dry is probably just because of that lower fat content. It was a bit more airy, and it did have like, um, like stick to the roof of your mouth kind of taste. Like it didn't really melt well. So I really wasn't a fan of this one, but the macros are really good on it if you need like just a little bit more protein with less carbs and less fat. Moving right along, I'm gonna get into the higher fat protein bars only because they are my favorite and they do taste really good. My first higher fat favorite is gonna be the organic square bars. These ones, no joke, I put them in the fridge and they taste like Thin Mints. They're so soft on the inside. They're minty. If you're a chocolate mint kind of person, you will love these. They do not taste like protein bars at all. But with that being said, the macros are gonna be a little bit different. Um, only 12 grams of protein, 23 carb, and nine fat. A little bit of different ratio there. You're gonna get a little bit more fat and carb, but a little less protein. So depending on your needs, you may be able to fit these in. Sometimes I do like as a mid-morning snack if I'm a little bit low on carbs and fats, but don't necessarily need like 20 grams of protein. And my second favorite flavor would have to be the peanut butter cup which has two more grams of fat I believe 11 grams of fat versus nine for the mint continuing on in the high fat category we do have power crunch bars and uh, chocolate flavored 
salt caramel and mint out of all of them again I'm a mint girl so the mint chocolate is my favorite I put these in the freezer thanks to Emily Hayden Fitness for teaching me the way because this tastes like a frozen thin mint girl scout cookie it is so good the reason why I like these bars is because they're so light they remind me of those little um like wafer cookies that I used to eat when I was in middle school. I can't think of the name of them, but they're really good. And that's exactly the consistency that you get with these. For these, you're gonna get 13 grams of fat, nine carb, and 13 grams of protein. So equal protein to fat ratio and lower carb. This could be super easy to fit into anyone's macros who eats low carb. My other favorite, favorite bar, I've talked about this on Snapchat a hundred times, is the My Bar Peanut Butter Crunch. It tastes just like a Baby Ruth bar. Absolutely no protein taste whatsoever. And they do make these in little mini bars, which I prefer because then it's not so much fat. But for the larger size bar, which is 55 grams, 10 grams of fat, 17 carbs, and 20 protein. So again, a little bit of a lower carb, high protein fat ratio, but so, so, so good on taste. I totally will use 10 grams of fat for these bars because they are so good. This bar is ginormous. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I cannot eat a full bar of this ever like it's so filling these are the robert irvine fit crunch bars and out of all the flavors this is my favorite it does remind me of like a snickers taste it's got some peanuts chocolate caramel and then that like nougat -y type crunch at the bottom the whole bar it's 16 grams of fat 30 grams of protein and 27 carbs so super high fat super high protein but it does have a higher carb as well last but very not least my other favorite protein bar cookie snack Lenny's and Larry's. If you don't know what Lenny's and Larry's is, they're pretty much living under a rock because they're so delicious. They are high carb though. So the serving is actually half a cookie if you guys didn't know that. Um, for half of the cookie, it's four fats, 28 carb and eight proteins. Higher carb, lower fat and low protein. But if you eat the whole cookie, you're looking at eight grams of fat, um, 50 some carbs and 16 protein, which again is primarily fat and carb, not as much protein as a protein bar. These are vegan and gluten free, so good for the vegan friends out there and they are delicious. Highly recommend, they were out of the snickerdoodle flavor, that's why I got these. These are my second and third choice, oatmeal cookie and lemon, but snickerdoodle is by far my favorite. So that is it, those are my favorite protein bars. I hope that it helps. I hope you guys go out and try some of them. Let me know if you do, and that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna see more review type videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know, and I would be happy to review some more protein products for you, except for protein powders because I threw them up when I was sick and I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat protein powders ever again, but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Turn